Hey guys, here we are at the uh, Deco Products booth at the GIE, and there is an amazing little tool here. It's motorized wheelbarrows. And uh, as I get older, they have the mud tire version so that the wife catches me out in the yard and I can't get up and around. She can move me around with this thing. And uh, it's just a really nice product they have here. And it's uh, the PAW Power Assist Electric Wheelbarrows. Check this out. I'll, I'll not get gentlemen in there, but look at this. We've got uh, probably 350 pounds in here. What would you say, how much weight, gentlemen, how much weight do you think you have in here right now? About 350 pounds? No, it's about 220. About 220, okay. Yeah. And uh, this. But, hey, sir, do you have time for an interview? I do. I do. All right, and My your name's Bart, Bart, Riard, Bart Riardin. 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 I'm would, Max Hughes. Nice to from meet Max you, Max. From Max Hall Video Channel. And uh, if you have a moment to explain to me your products, what you have, uh, cost structures, uh, if you have direct marketing uh, and that sort of thing, um, I'd like for my viewers to see exactly what you have and, and what Certainly. it works. So let's take a look at this one right here. It's empty right now. This but is our this is our standard six cubic foot tub. We call it the Pro Paul. It's got a heavy duty frame. It's rated for over 300 pounds. 300. We rate it for 300. That's 300 plus. Yeah, 300 plus. A little more, a little less. Depends and, on your use. And with people like me that abuse your products, it's going to be whatever it will hold. Yeah, it will hold a lot. Because somebody put their dead elephant or something like that in there. I use this for all kinds of things. You can use it for landscaping. You can use it for concrete work. You can use it for going out in the woods and cutting firewood. I carry my chainsaws in it. Uh, use it when I go out for hunting, for hauling stuff back. It's a standard wheelbarrow. It wheels on its own, forward and back. You do let not. Me, let me. So this free rolling right now. This will free wheel. Free wheeling, okay. We have a 24 volt motor. This is a battery indicator, full, half, and empty. I like that. You've got a throttle control. Let me get a shot of this right here so we can see which one we're talking about here. Too fast. Okay. Thumb throttle, power. So it's thumb control, you said. You can push and release that. Whoa, and yeah. go in reverse. And it, it'll go. All right, I this like that. This will run on an average of seven to eight hours. On this a will do a trip. work day on one battery. This will do a work day on one battery. We now we're talking about under full load. Under full load. Because it's a power assisted wheelbarrow. Usually you're only using the battery and the charge when it's loaded sure. or when you're going uphill or over rough terrain. Okay. Otherwise, it will freewheel. Great. So, Now, what about the width of this? I noticed this thing is pretty wide, but it's not. Will this go through like a doorway or a fence or like a gate? The overall width is less than 30 inches, 29 and a half. So it fits through doorways, gates. So the 29 and a half is to take it inside a building structure you're just building. Absolutely. We have electricians that use these in high rises to haul their equipment. We use remodelers going into homes to haul the tile and concrete out that they're taking out and bringing new product in. Okay. There's a battery. It's mounted to the underside. It holds two 12 volt AGM batteries, and if you're doing a lot of work where you're going to run the battery down, you can get a second battery case and you can swap it kind of like you do a cordless drill. That's what people need. Normally, in the evenings, you bring it back, unplug the power from the battery, plug your charger in. Let me show them something I just noticed. I like the fact that you took the time to spring load this so this is not going to rattle and fall out. That's right. So, because on construction sites, they get pretty rough with your equipment, so. What we're looking at is about version 18. <laughs> because sense. we've had contractors, we gave some of these to some contractors, mm -hmm. concrete guys, uh, sure. landscapers, told them to beat the smoke out of it. Well, now, if you, see, if I test your product, these people that's watching you right now, yes. they'll tell you, I will tell you, I would abuse the hell out of your product because we want to tell our viewers and we want to tell you what we find 
whether it works or whether it doesn't. And when sure. I tell these guys it works, it's going to work. <laughs> so it will work. Uh, right. All right. Now this is your this is your speed control here. This is our electronic control, and we'll go look at one that's open in just Good. a moment. Good. I was going to ask you if we could do that. Now, what about replacement parts? Everything is available. So every piece of this can be every bought individually. Piece of this, I had a customer who uh, one of his guys backed into it and bent the handle. They can order a replacement handle. This throttle. Now I noticed another thing too. If you don't mind me interjecting here, these are mandrel bit square tubing. This is 14 gauge square steel stock. 14 gauge, okay. We have a residential unit that is a 16 gauge tubular steel. Well, that's light duty. It's a lighter duty. Yeah. The motor drive system electronics are the same on both units. On the residential as well? The residential only, unit. Okay, so only difference we're talking about, because you're going to have the same electronics. Same electronics, we're same control have, box, same motor. So the only difference is we're going to have a lighter gauge, lighter weight, steel yep. tubing. Absolutely. It, what about the, when it comes to the hopper or the bucket, what is the Six difference? cubic foot bucket is the same. So the only difference we're talking about is just the, the metal here? The Pro Paw, the heavier duty one. Okay. We are able to offer a larger tub. This is a six cubic foot. We also have an eight cubic foot. With the same drive and everything. Right. right. The eight cubic foot tub, because of the configuration, will not fit on the residential unit. I see. Okay. However, for most people, an eight cubic foot tub is overkill. If you look at that one right there. Okay, now that's loaded. How much weight do you think you may have on in there? That has eight cubic feet of mulch in it, and that is a six cubic foot tub. <laughs> but you'll eight cubic feet fitting in a six. That's not like something I do. Well, if you figure, you're going to load it. Now, up. am I going to get to see this go up that ramp? Yes, absolutely. We'll do that right now. Let's do that. Let me back over here so we can get a... Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to push it up, not using power. Okay. It's a regular wheelbarrow. Do you want to push this up, not using power? I'll get you off the camera. You want me to try it? Would you try it? Alright. Yes. You can push it up around, not using power. Okay. Now this is the unpowered version right now. Yeah, it. This is your throttle. I witnessed he did not touch the buttons. Yeah, it's a variable. It's a variable speed. What kind of thing can I do? This will hold 300 pounds up a 15 degree. No, there is no brake. It's a regular wheelbarrow. Now, you, excuse me one more. You said there's no brake. There's this no braking system on it. Is there a brake system in the future for this model or there one of these could models? Be. The whole point of this is not to reinvent a wheel. Brake, exactly. But it is to make something that has power for when you need it. Now, with a regular wheelbarrow, if you're going downhill with a load of rock and it starts to get away from you, what do you do? You drop the skids. This is the same thing. However, I want you to try this now. When you go up under power, as it's rolling back, you can give it a little forward to break it and stop. That works. Doing it a little bit, no, it's not going to screw up the gears. However, we have had vehicles tow this behind a motorcycle, and they have screwed up the gears at 60 miles an hour. I tell you what, I just like going up the hill. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those ways about 40 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we're just going over. We rate this for 300. It's built to handle more, but we won't warranty it. So when you say it's built for this, you can adapt this to any wheelbarrow you provide this to. No, this is this wheelbarrow. Okay. $5.99 is a show special. It would have the standard wheels. There now, are. Now, let me ask you this while we're here. I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay. Now, this is this is going to be the MGM discount down the road is, is $5.99, right? $5.99. That's is, because that's a show special. That is a show special. And the special. retail price on this is normally? You find them between $7, $7.50 online. So if they buy one and they use this MGM discount, 
and you direct sell them, then they can get it somewhere between the retail and a show special price? Yes, we are not set up for direct retail, but there's an exception to everything. That's why that we don't know. I want to know that I'm helping you sell product, but I want my subscribers, viewers, and my forum members, my landscaping people, to get value out of these videos. So that we want to make sure. And by the way, Daniel, I'm Max Hughes from Max's Garage Mahal, and I, and I know you have it. And I, I want you to know I appreciate you being on the, the video with this gentleman, and, and uh, he's doing a great job explaining this to us. And uh, he just clued me in a while ago. This is a six cubic foot hopper, has eight cubic foot in it. I wanted to interrupt him when he said that, but then I thought better because I didn't want to disparage him. But of course, this is compressed. Of course. Right, right. <laughs> but now, there are times that you and I have both used number two pea gravel, or number two gravel, dirty gravel in there, and, and a little bit of this would be like uh, 700 pounds real quickly. Yeah, well. Now, now one more thing, I've, I've, I'm gonna notice this, and I think most people will. How often does this uh, does this hopper rust? Rust? Yes. It's polypropylene. It's polypropylene. So we're talking it's about rust. we're talking about we're going to have something here for the lifetime and, until I work hard enough to break it. That's right. So and I'm going to have to work hard to break it. The tub that we use is the number one selling tub in the country. It's a standard six cubic foot poly tub that most people can pick up at varieties of places: Home Depot's, Lowe's, is Ace, Ace Hardware. Hardware. So Places this, like so if you did break this, pardon me, 60, 70 bucks, if that. Yeah. So, so if this dropped off your truck at 80 the, mile an hour. The biggest problem we see with the tub, is we're based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. You may not know this, but it gets cold up there. Some people have told me that. So you're tossing firewood in, whatever, it's very cold, it can crack the tub. I wouldn't be at all surprised y'all use this out in the fishing woods too. Oh, absolutely. I have a customer in Alaska that uses three of these for running stuff up and down to the docks of the fishing boats. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, I do appreciate it. I do want to ask you one more thing. I noticed that on the display over here that you have an axle that that is underneath these machines. We're going to go over and take a look at it. Right I'd now. like to do that. Would you like to join us with that? Briefly, yes. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you. <laughs>